Here we are at the Mr. Olympia with Dr. LeBaron. Good to see you. Likewise, Dr. thank LeBaron, you. thanks for coming out. He's also an arm wrestler, and you're competing today in arm I, wrestling. I am. I'm a, I'm a wannabe competitor, but I'm here. I'm here to yeah. do it. Well, he's got the suit on, so you know he's a doctor and all this. So today we're going to talk more about the science of hydrogen, very specifically how it relates to the ABCs, right, guys? So if you're on testosterone and even just getting older, you're going to have a consequence of having issues with heart disease. And then we all know that the risks for heart disease are quite simple with, of course, obesity and our sedentary lifestyle. Potentially, it's ABC. The A stands for hemoglobin A1C, which is diabetes and prediabetes. Half of America is prediabetic. And that obviously is going to gain weight problems with too many carbs and I know everyone's trying to work on that so we're gonna have relationship here we're gonna talk about that from hydrogen perspective scientifically that's a B is blood pressure again all these things come together and they're synergistic in a, in a bad way for ending up causing heart disease that's atherosclerosis B is blood pressure that's direct effects on too much pressure destroying the inner wrapping of the artery that's the endothelial bed it's so precious also to erections and nitric, nitric oxide. And C is gonna be cardiac and cholesterol. And that's it. So remember guys, for this talk with this scientist here, ABC. So doctor, talk about how hydrogen scientifically relates to ameliorate the A, the glycemic index. All right, fantastic. So that we're clear, when we're talking about the glycemic index, we're talking about high blood sugar, right? Right. So that, and that's really bad because that the, that sugar molecule is going to react with the hemoglobin and different proteins, and that's going to cause this glycation end product. And that's what causes cross-linking of proteins and a lot of damage. Right. So how does hydrogen help? It turns out that molecular hydrogen has, a, has the ability to reduce and regulate and support healthy blood sugar levels. And it does this through several ways. First off, the normal way that glucose is taken into our muscles is via the action of insulin, right? So insulin is produced by our pancreas, the pancreatic beta cells, so they produce insulin, and then insulin will go and, and act on the cell membrane and cause what's called translocation, or basically the movement of a transporter to this outside of the cell to grab the glucose molecules and bring it in. And when you start having high levels of glucose or diabetes, that process doesn't work very well. Hygiene helps on almost every one of these parts, and let's go through them, okay? Number one, the secretion of insulin. Okay, when, you're, when your pancreas gets a lot of ox oxidative distress and gets damaged, those beta cells can start to die and you, don't, you, you, start to, you stop producing much insulin. We have demonstrated, well, well, and others have demonstrated that hydrogen gas can help increase the secretion of insulin when it's needed. So you don't want too much, of course, right? It's very anabolic. It can be, it can be right. damaging, right? So, so it's, it's regulated there so you can see increases in insulin secretion. All right, we see this in animal studies and also in, in, in certain clinical studies where there's a pathological issue going on, okay? Number two, when that insulin then goes and it's trying to bind to the cell membrane so it can bring, bring that GLUT4 translocator out. So this GLUT4, glucose transporter four, is what brings the glucose. A little scientifically, but it does this through what's called a PI3 kinase mechanism. That's how insulin causes all the signaling. Hydrogen also activates this pathway in a similar way. It can actually stimulate GLUT4 translocation. That's going to help bring glucose into the muscles, into the cells, so it's not in the bloodstream. Now you don't have the high glucose levels anymore. Okay. So just for everyone to know, when you're hyperglycemic, it's because there's an there's an insulin resistance at the end side, right? The adipose tissue, skeletal muscle. So you're building up glucose not where it should be but it builds up into your blood and you check your blood and your right. finger sticks or your your blood with a venous lab and you're seeing it build up a lot of people don't realize that and that that sugar coating destroys right it destroys the heart coronary arteries at least coronary exacerbated coronary disease and kidney disease and ocular disease amputations peripheral vascular disease because it whole thing starts breaking yeah, you know, a good, great example of this, um, in uh, nutritional biochemistry, what would you one of our classes to, to illustrate this? Um, because I, I talked about how that glucose molecule reacts with proteins. It's just like when you're making pancakes, okay? What, what you could do is you make pancakes. If you use, um, you know, honey, for example, or, or other types of sugars that react really well, that browning effect, 
that is the glucose molecule reacting with the proteins. And that's what happens in the arteries. It's bad. Okay, it's bad. It, that's, how, that's what happens. And, and so hydrogen, so first I talked about how it's going to help increase insulin secretion, protecting the pancreatic beta cells. Right. I talked about how it's going to increase the, uh, the, glu the glucose uptake into the muscles. On the target site. On the target site. Right. I also want to talk about how it's going to help with energy expenditure. Hydrogen can increase the hepatic growth factor, FGF21, fibroblast growth factor 21, and that increases energy expenditure involved in like mitochondrial biogenesis, so all of these areas, but that's going to help with the to, liver. Ex, yeah. yeah, to the liver. And that, that overall, that's going to help systemically to help uh, regulate and improve glucose homeostasis. Now, of course, the one, you are, may still be getting this, this advanced glycation end products, high glucose levels. Hydrogen can help protect against those negative effects of what's happening anyway. Once you have it. Once you have it, as well as, it's not, it's not a cure-all, it's not a drug, it's not right, right. something like that. So it's not, it's, it's not gonna just, you know, bring it down automatically for everybody. And people are gonna respond differently, right? But, but this is what the research is showing in, in animal and clinical studies so far. So that's A. So but let me ask you a question yeah. again. When we're talking about the delivery and when you are delivering this, not an agent because it's hydrogen, it's not a drug, or not yet, right? It's not yeah, well, it, it all depends on your definition of a drug. The, the right? government hasn't got it yet, right? The pharmaceutical right. guys haven't gotten it in some some meaningful way where they're going to control delivery. It's going to be a delivery mechanism because it's in water. It's in the it's yeah, in yeah. we it's in our, it's ubiquitous, right? So when you deliver it through, say, infused water or a gas or some, how do those effects after an hour, three hour, days? I mean, is it like giving a blood pressure drug where it works okay. maybe immediately. How do people yes. want to know, okay, we see the mechanism for the protective effects on glycemic right. issues that everyone has, or half the country, and they're going to eat great, they're going to do the best they can. None of this is with steroids. How does hydrogen regularly affect it, and does it work? Like, if you take the drink, what do you... Yeah, excellent question. And also, to clarify, because we are talking about hydrogen, which is a gas. And sometimes if we hear, well, you know, like hydrogen water, they, they say, well, there's already hydrogen in water, right? H2O. Right, but, but, but that's not what we're talking about. That's, that's H2O with the oxygen, with a hydrogen bond to get Locked like in. Mass, right? We're talking about a hydrogen gas that's simply dissolved into right. the, the, the water, right? And you can inhale the gas or you can dissolve it into water. So water becomes the carrier of the hydrogen gas. So with, with like the, 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 the product you're looking at, you know, you open it up and you need to drink it, you know, right. just like a carbonated beverage, eventually it's gonna go flat, so to right. speak, right? right. Now, when you drink it, the question is, when that hydrogen gas molecule goes into the body, goes into the blood, and reaches the target organs, right. well, number one, how long um, is it gonna be there for? Right. And when will, will it have its effect, and how long will those effects last That's for? That's what people wanna know. Okay, here it is. It's gonna get into your blood and into your body within five minutes. I mean, a few minutes, you're, you're gonna reach a peak level within 10, 15 minutes. It's gonna go back to baseline, your hydrogen gas levels, because you, you naturally produce hydrogen gas in your, in your system already. So it'll go back to baseline within about an hour or so. Now, how soon will you start having protective effects? We can see in cell culture studies, protective effects in as little as five minutes, we can start seeing a protective effect. Now, that doesn't mean that you're gonna necessarily notice something in five minutes. You may, you may not, I don't know, right? It, everyone's gonna be- Case by case. Yeah. Exactly, right? Um, but, but five minutes to 30 minutes is typically what we start, start seeing in cell culture studies. Then how long will it have its effect? Well, this is very fascinating because I already said that hydrogen gas is gone out of the body back to baseline within an hour. Yet, the protective effects of hydrogen remain for at least 24 hours and, and some clinical studies have shown um, for, for several weeks, for example, at a residual effect because hydrogen affects the gene expression, okay? And if you affect gene expression, then you're gonna have a prolonged beneficial effect. But, but you'll wanna take it for an extended period of time. The longer you take it for, then the longer the residual effect will happen because you're talking about, you know, changes on the epigenetic uh, consistent it, it, stimulation. Exactly. Right. Okay. I'm really liking the hydrogen technology clinical application that Dr. LeBaron has talked about with us more and more. There's a product called HydroShot, which is hydrogen infused water, where it really does get into your system. I want you guys to try this with me itself, and you can use the promotion code Anabolic Doc. Let's try it, guys, and let's see how it works together. Right. Okay, let's move to B. Perfect. Okay, so that's blood pressure. Right. All right, and we know that if you have high blood pressure, that's going to put a lot of stress on your, on your arteries and your, your blood vessels, and you know, that stress and everything is very harmful. 
Okay, so hygiene is going to help in a couple of ways. Um, number one, there are a number of animal studies and several clinical studies. In fact, we published a clinical study as well showing that hydrogen does decrease elevated blood pressure. If your blood pressure is already normal, right. it, it, it doesn't do anything. Very we, we don't, we don't see would be any bad. change. That it would, would be, be bad. bad, actually. You'd be hypotensive, um, yeah, yeah, you don't want to falling be, over. Yeah, fainting and everything, right? So people who have elevated blood pressure, not always, but at least in some situations in these clinical studies, we see that the blood pressure decreases. And sometimes decreases dramatically. And, and mechanistically, we see some changes in, for example, in angiotensin, for, for example, because that's going to elevate blood pressure because it decreases in some of these um, uh, various enzymes and, and proteins. Um, and then, uh, okay, so it, I guess I'll just, I don't want to go too much in the mechanism right there, but, but the point is, is yes, there is some evidence that hydrogen can help decrease the blood pressure and regulate some of these areas. And actually, it goes into some of the nitric oxide. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, maybe we should talk about that just briefly. On our last podcast, we talked about the the uh, two sides of nitric oxide, right? right. The good and the bad. Um, well, hydrogen, we talked about how it can promote the benefits of nitric right. oxide because that is what causes vasodilation. Right. And, and we, so that's- the Great erections. Right. Yes, well, yeah, but it's CGP or activation. erections themselves, he re requires nitric oxide. Well, right. and actually it's interesting because see, nitric oxide activates um, a, a, a G protein coupled receptor and then that makes CGMP, and the CGMP has all these effects. Right. Hydrogen has actually has similar effects as CGMP. Therefore, it's almost like a, a nitric oxide mimetic because it, it goes through a, a, the, the pathway that works after nitric oxide has its effect. Wow. So, it, it, but but also it stimulates ENOS, endothelial nitric oxide synthase. And um, this this uh, product you're, you're talking about here, it's, it's interesting because we did some research on this where. We, in, we showed increases in blood flow because of vasodilation and you, ha you have this for like over you know 12 hours there's an extended blood flow for example so you get because you want good blood flow to all your tissues that's the, right. get, get rid of the metabolic waste get good nutrients in talk about injury recovery um, you know and, and just all those benefits you want it's all about getting good blood flow and a lot of that is attributed to nitric oxide so that's would be the blood pressure right okay let's move on to C. Yeah, that's so now, the cholesterol, cardiac, calcium score. Perfect. Okay, on, on all of those cases, we see there's research showing molecular hydrogen's beneficial effects. Um, in the study I mentioned earlier, we were showing benefits in blood pressure. We also looked at cholesterol. Um, this was a six month study um, in, in uh, 60 subjects, metabolic, potential metabolic syndrome, right? And so they all had high cholesterol levels. And what we see is that people, the, essentially, the worse your cholesterol is, the greater effects it seems that the drinking of hydrogen infused water has on, on you so did it, did it lower the LDL it, it lowered lowered the LDL you actually see increases in HDL in some cases okay that's the good kind right you so increase in HDL lower LDL there's actually some changes even in the ApoB proteins which we, we don't want either um, and, and then just little lower total cholesterol as well so uh, and the ratio, that's the biggest thing, is the ratio drastically improved. Because the ratio seems to be more important than you know the total cholesterol or the, or the HDL level, but that ratio seems to be an important aspect also. So we, we, we demonstrated this, and a number of other clinical studies have shown this. There's probably 12 clinical studies or so on well, I'll be metabolic looking at syndrome. these. You know me, uh, guys. Yeah. I'll be verifying these clinical studies, and we'll have to make sure we get some B-roll here for you guys. Doctor, that is absolutely impressive. So you guys know I'm checking out this new stuff called hydrogen that's not new at all, but I think from a, a, a medical standpoint, therapeutic standpoint, clinical aspect, it's quite new, you know, maybe 20 years or so. I want to be on that for you guys. All right, guys, there's going to be more to come with myself and Dr. LeBaron. Thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Really Thanks. love it. Thank you. Yeah. This is what you get with the Anabolic Doc app. Number one, a digital history and physical exam. Number two, weekly Zoom meetings with me. Number three, discounted commercial labs. Number four, weekly member only uncensored videos. Number five, Anabolic Doc's mailbag. You can't come to the meetings or you don't wanna to come to the meetings, you ask a question, I might respond to your question by making a video, put it back up on the app and you get to see your own question Lastly, diagnostic and management library that is easily searchable by keywords. I'm really liking the hydrogen technology clinical application that Dr. LeBaron has talked about with us more and more. There's a product called HydroShot, which is hydrogen infused water, where it really does get into your system. 
I want you guys to try this with me itself, and you can use the promotion code anabolic doc. Let's try it, guys, and let's see how it works together.